Hey, and welcome to today's podcast. We want to take a little bit of time to talk to you uh, about growth and, and, and franchise expansion. And, you know, the traditional model, I think many people are familiar with, yeah, right? you have a franchise owner coming in and they maybe do it a single unit, a single franchise agreement, but there are a lot of ways that franchisors are able to grow. And we've, we've talked about master license, right? And, and it's somebody developing an entire country and kind of what that looks like and the pros and the benefits of doing that types of thing. So check out that podcast. But today we want to focus a little bit about area developers, right? And, and multi-unit owners and kind of what are the, the differences and similarities and why somebody might be attractive to each one of those opportunities. So Bill, why don't you give me a little bit about, you know, your, your thoughts on what is an area developer and, and, and some of the benefits of being one? Well, one main benefit definitely of an area developer are the discounts that you're going to get with us. Uh, you know, strictly with Techie, we make sure our area developers are concentrated on development and the success of each location. So with that area development, you're going to get discount on franchise fees. You're going to get discounts on uh, royalties and whatnot. But it's also we, we want to find that direct person that actually could take that operation and you you know you want to start with five stores to grow to 10 15 stores we need people like that in our uh, in our company to help us grow to get to the level that we're looking at you know a thousand two thousand stores so you know definitely area developers are key to to the growth yeah here. yeah if you're looking for like maybe just to own a city like we mm -hmm. talked about chicago or you want to own uh, a state you know a county a, a county right. uh a radius mm -hmm. uh of area developer is the way to go. And, uh, and, and we, we want to grow, like Bill said, in, in 2024. And so we're looking for some area developers and some deals are out there right now just on what we're looking to do to continue to grow. And so you, you're, we're talking a little bit about area developer and a multi-franchise unit owner too as well. So maybe we could talk a little bit about some of the differences. Yeah, I think that one of the key differences is an area developer, that that first word area, right? You're, you're yeah. kind of confined and kind of have the rights to a certain demographic region, right? Geographic region, whether it being a, an entire city, an entire state, yeah. right? An entire region where a multi-unit owner really has the opportunity to go anywhere they want in a given sense, right? They can have you know, two in Florida, three in New York, five in California, wherever they kind of want to see and have that multi-unit ownership and the multi-unit, you know, possibility. Yeah. But I think there's also a little bit of a difference in the financial commitment that you're initially getting out of the gate and the initial investment. Bill, why don't you talk to me a little bit about how you see that investment working for, you know, an area developer versus somebody that maybe is looking at a multi-unit opportunity? Yeah. So, I mean, the discounts are, are tremendous, obviously, you know, so growth, we talk, we keep talking about growth. So how do we get there? We help uh, an area developer or multi, uh, area developers or whatever the case may be, you know, save as much as possible to, to open up these stores, to, to get them open operated. I mean, boots on the ground are huge for us. That's what takes us to the next level. So with having these partnerships, we could easily do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, the multi-unit owner is making that initial commitment of buying X amount of stores, XYZ Correct, yeah. amount of stores, right? Call it 10, 20, 30 stores. Correct. Right? Yeah. And maybe he's and bringing they're not in... directed, obviously, to one location. Right. So, you know, if they have, you know, uh, you know, different states in mind or what, what, what the case may be, that works out pretty well for them. Right. And then and the area developer actually has the opportunity to bring in other franchisees, right? Kind yeah. of bringing in other partners, bringing in other opportunities, but it still controls that region and that market. But rather than all the operations, all the expense, all the marketing falling on a single owner like a multi-unit owner would, an area developer does have the opportunity to bring in additional resources, bring in additional help, bring in additional franchisees and help grow that brand awareness in their local markets that way. Right. So a little bit of a difference there. Uh, but at the end of the day, both both are very strategic in helping uh, franchisors such as us grow. Yeah. You and if you're, be, you're yeah. looking to do an area developer, I mean, you can even talk about, hey, say you go in an area and you just there's like three other repair shops. So you can talk about, hey, let's convert those three. Yeah. Right. Into into techies. And, and now you can own the area. So well, that's what I was going to say. As a, a multi area developer, you know, you, you're talking about a width of, uh, say, the whole United States. But you're not, you know, you could easily do five stores. And then as an area developer, you could sell 15, 20 stores in one of these ma uh, major cities uh, yeah. that, you know, we mentioned in a previous podcast. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the area developer, uh, we, we, ha we have a couple. Yeah. Uh, and it works out very well. Yep. Um, and you can control that area. Absolutely. Um, which, is, which, is, which is awesome. Yep. And you have the first right to refusal. Yeah. Right? So if somebody it's else wants huge. to open up. Um, and an open your territory, they 
you got the franchise or has to to look at that and say okay yeah yes or no but you have to agree to that because you have control of that territory which i think is a big part of this too as well so um as we continue to grow and to understand a little bit more about area developers and and multi-units um you know, yeah, think of the, you know, the obviously the benefits. They get this exclusive uh, territory. And you're not just talking about, you know, uh, B2C. You know, B2B is available as well. So the more territory you have, the more options and uh, uh, revenue you have to bring in. You yeah, know? And, and it's negotiable, the, the, the territory. So, like, it's not just like, hey, this one city. No, we could talk about radius like we said before. Yeah, depending we, on the population. Exactly. And, yeah. There's a There's lot of things, things that go, that go into, into it. it. I think the one thing that I, I've heard in the past, you know, being in franchising, you know, franchising for 10 years is is the development schedule itself, right? Kind of the commitment of how many stores you're going to open and when, right? That That's kind of the big part of being a, an area developer or a multi-unit owner. But I think, you know, here at Techie, we're, we're very favorable in that fashion, right? I mean, if it's, we're, we're not going to have, hey, open a store a month, right? That's not really sometimes a, a realistic expectation I've seen that for before. everybody, but I have That's seen nuts. some crazy development schedules. <laughs> you, you know, we're here to work with you, yeah. right? And, and we want you to get open. We want to get you successful, got, get your feet on the ground, get you running, understand the day to day, and then let's scale right from there. Well, that's a great point, Cal, because we're very reasonable as where we could easily open up five stores, 10 stores a month to where if you want to scale it back to doing one every six months, you know, the key is to make sure you're comfortable and that we're all doing this together to make sure that every store has yeah, as much potential the community as possible. And, and so many different things. We we don't want to close stores. Right. <laughs> so thousand percent. So if you're you're interested in an area developer or, you know, multi-unit opportunity, you know, please feel free to visit our website, www.techiecompany.com forward slash franchising. Please feel free to reach out to myself, Kyle at techiecompany.com. Be glad to have that conversation with you. And again, maybe you already own three, four five locations in a certain territory across the state. Give us a call. We have something for you too. Love that. Yeah. Either acquisitions or convert. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys. And we'll talk to you soon.